Hello, my Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to your Love Scope reading for the second half of September 2019. For the ones who don't know me, welcome to my channel. I am quite new on YouTube, so if the messages resonate, please hit that like and subscribe button, guys. I really appreciate the support. And leave a comment down below if your uh, journey resonates with the messages that I'm about to deliver. Um... All my information is in, is in the description box if you want to reach out for a personal reading. Um, my rates are very competitive right now. And if you'd like to purchase my new bracelet called Calling In Your Soulmate or Calling In Your Person is exactly is the exact title. So here we go. This is the Howlite Citrin Morganite Fluorite Bracelet. This is the Yin. There is also a Yang bracelet where the energy is a little bit more um, driven, masculine energy, where you want to open yourself up to love, uh, whereas this is more calming and soothing and just helps you surrender to this concept of finding our person. So with that being said, just check out all my information in the description box. I have merchandise. I also have my website where you can buy the bracelets so cancer we're going to take a look at your overall energy and the person you are dealing with and how they feel about you in the next few weeks before we get to the tarot i want to just grab the astrology moon uh cards for the overall energy i've been using this oh we're gonna take that one i've been using this deck for the overall energy so the energy that is between you and your person or the connection the connection or the energy that you are channeling pluto transformation so when it comes to relationships um cancer you're going through some major transformation whether that's in a current connection current relationship or overall there's something in your environment that needs some transforming that needs some healing pluto comes in and transforms and changes things very drastically so with that being said let's take a look at your energy how are you looking in the next few weeks ace of pentacles okay so we got some opportunities here around you that's good good energy for my cancers what else what other justice okay so your energy is justice and ace of pentacles so telling me that you are opening yourself up to opportunities you are wanting the truth justice is all about truth and uh fairness can also be libra so maybe you're channeling a libra maybe you are involved with a libra but there is a lot of balance and harmony due to this new opportunity that surrounds you right now in love let's take a look oh yeah we got the king of cups someone here is catching some feelings but is not exactly expressing them their feelings run deep as you can see there's so much water around him can be can be you the cancer cancer pisces scorpio is cups king of cups here the person that you're connecting with. Let's go with the person you are dealing with. What is their energy? Ooh, the Three of Swords. Okay, so they're currently going through some major heartbreak. Okay, it's it's at the end. It's at the end. It's been painful. It's been long. This heartbreak since we are at the ten, ten, three plus the ten of swords. There's been some painful endings, painful situations uh, in this person's life. Okay. Yeah, some disappointments, Four of Cups means, you know, because of this energy of disappointment and endings and pain, this person is now so focused on those, you know, disappointments, as you can see here, she's so focused on those cups that she doesn't see the actual real opportunities that are there for her. So, could be a Capricorn with the devil, but also speaking of... An energy of someone who's just bound and chained to unhealthy people, unhealthy habits, unhealthy ways of thinking, situations. All right, let's take a look at what is it that you want out of this relationship? What's your heart's desires in the next few weeks, Cancer? 
page of swords. So in the next few weeks, you are going to play the stalker. Uh, page of swords is the stalker card. You're going to get more information about this person. You're going to investigate. You're going to do some, some research. Okay, king of wands. Maybe you're dealing with the king of wands. So you're doing research. You're asking about this king of wands, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Feels like that's what you want. I mean, I'm asking about your heart's desires, and you want to know what's up with this King of Wands here. Or the roles can be reversed, guys. So maybe this is the person you're dealing with here. The moon, something is hidden here with the moon. Information that is not being revealed can also deal with fears and illusions. The Hermit, Virgo. So we got Pisces and Virgo on the table, and Libra. And Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, let's take a look at the person you're dealing with and what's their heart's desires. Okay, so they're doing some soul searching to gain some balance. Yeah, to gain some balance and peace of mind. We have two sixes. So we got the nine of the hermit, Virgo, soul searching. Um, alone. This is alone time. Someone who is isolating themselves. Sorry about the glare. It's my lamp in the back here. Um, someone who is just trying to find the answers within themselves right now, okay? To gain what? Some balance with, here with the Six of Pentacles. Uh, you know, is wanting to receive here some type of give and take, recip equal give and take, reciprocity. Wants to find some peace of mind, moving on to calmer waters with the Six of Swords. So we have two Sixes here, which reveal a lot of changes six of swords moving on here gaining balance all right with that ten of pentacles when it comes to long-term commitments long-term investments oh okay let's take a look at how do you feel about this person okay so you're not sure about this person okay right now you're just sitting there not be you're not able to see what it is exactly that you want Okay, the person is blinded and just sitting there, sitting there with her legs crossed. I, I just love the colors of this card. It's so beautiful. However, she's just indecisive. That's how you feel about the person. You're a little bit indecisive. You're just sitting there. Um, give me one more card. Oh, the Ten of Cups. Not able to see the potential or just not able to make a decision about this, this commitment, this situation is dynamic that is very very can bring a lot of happiness not sure about it you're not sure about it what about this person the person we're connecting with here knight of swords we've been getting a lot of this knight of swords and the emotions my goodness this knight of swords in, in our emotions is very restless this is restless energy when it comes to our emotions. This is not stable energy, guys. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, if you're dealing with one. Um, let's get one more card here. Their emotions, how do they feel? Yeah, they're restless about you because this is. they as well have this soulmate connection for you. Hmm, hmm. Let's get this challenge cards. What are What is challenging here, this connection? Ooh, everything fell. Okay, an offer is challenging here. Maybe a lack of an apology, a lack of an offer. Oh, I see. Yeah. Having the strength here to face our disappointments and sadness. Five of Cups, having the strength to tame the beast within. That's causing so much sadness here. We're, we're focusing on the cups that are spilled here, guys. This is what's challenging and it's finding the strength, this lack of strength, lack of courage to face, to offer something that is, you know, probably scary at first. Finding the courage, sadness, regret, fears. This is all fears, guys, that's making this stagnate. Um, what advice do you have? What advice do you have for my cancer? Okay, so the Queen of Swords here as an advice card is saying, set your boundaries, communicate clearly, straightforwardly. Um, the Queen of Swords comes in to let people know where she stands and what she thinks. Um, 
in a way that is very detached okay emotionally don't get yourself too detached when you communicate so maybe detach yourself a little bit and communicate and set your boundaries with the queen of swords okay straightforward communication here oh the fool okay i mean i've been getting this a lot for everybody in the last few readings i've been doing i feel like spirit is trying to say like just cut this out move on to this to a new beginning here fresh clean slate i don't know if it's with this person guys it, it does seem like this person is going into hermit mode and like kind of walking away here but in their feelings they're kind of restless because of this connection and what's challenging here is this sadness the, this, the disappointment this courage to to overcome and to offer someone is not does not have enough courage to to open up and spirits here saying set your boundaries you know uh yeah defend yourself defend yourself uh stand up for your beliefs with the seven of wands i feel like you're gonna have to face this new beginning here the fool says take a leap of faith into something new try something new um hmm, hmm. let's take a look at what the romance angels want us to know where are we at 11 minutes okay romance angels what advice do you have for my sun rising venus and cancer please Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. very very contradicting messages here spirit attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and this is an energy that i um wanted my bracelet to uh embody helping us live in the present moment helping us trust in divine timing helping us trust that we have everything we need in this present moment. We don't need anybody to complete us. And I feel like they're t letting you know that someone here, mm, give your relationship a chance. Okay. Oh, okay. Worth waiting for. And that's the trust and divine timing card here. Worth waiting for. I feel like they are telling you with these combination of cards and then we got codependency here so i feel like some you have to be careful the relationship that you need to work on has to be with yourself i feel like just because codependency came up with passion passion is saying are you sure this relationship that you are you know fighting for in a way is the best for you is it is it making you feel passion is it making your heart scream with joy is it something that um makes you feel like you can live in the moment if it's something that is making you stressed and help and making you feel attached and codependent you, you're depending on this person to be happy then this is an issue you gotta you gotta work on uh the relationship issues that revolve around codependency we did see the devil there guys someone here has some codependency issues so be careful with that or someone here has just addiction problems. And it is saying to trust in divine timing. And this is what I was saying about my bracelet. And this is what the energy that I am trying to channel through the bracelet's crystals. So divine timing is at work in your love life. Trust that the right person will come at the right time for the right reason. And right now you're in preparation mode. What information do you want ah, within the next few weeks? Yes is the answer big happy changes okay oh we got two other cards here that i didn't see oh no get more information and forgiveness i feel like i got those two cards for my gemini reading get more information yeah get more information and also learn about forgiveness a lot of you need to learn about the concept of forgiving yourself forgiving others um it's gonna be a yes for some of you within the next few months sorry did i say weeks big happy changes are ahead guys so let go of your codependency issues some of you need to work on the relationship issues that revolve around codependency some of you need to pay attention to 
whether or not this relationship is making you feel passion and joy because if it's not and if it's making you feel sad like the five of cups and disappointed then the person that you should be connecting with your actual person that is meant to be with you in this life time in this moment in time is worth waiting for all right guys so i hope that all made sense please let me know if these messages resonated hit that like button guys it really does help my channel and helps me support you longer um please uh let me know if you need a personal reading and check out my website as i said my bracelets are uh, available for pre-orders have a great week and weekend if you're watching this on friday and saturday take care